I'm just going to go ahead and see. This should be nice and warm by now. Yep, good there. So I have my uh, lead-free solder, my solder iron. And I'm not the uh, best at soldering, but not the worst either. But basically what I like to do, if it's a heavier gauge wire, I usually hold it against the wire and just slowly melt the solder into there and it'll kind of blend in there. But this is real, uh, real tiny wire, so I can't hold it there for very long. Yeah, see that one's already soldered. Um, and um, there we go. Okay, so those are good. And I'll just go ahead and get these two. And I did try to um, zoom in the, the camera, uh, but if I zoom it in too much, it gets real blurry. Um, so hopefully uh, you guys can see this fairly well. Okay, uh, that's excuse me, <clears throat> that's about it for uh, for soldering. Uh, pretty easy on the little wires, bigger wires. I would just hold the iron on there or solder gun, whichever you had. Uh, let it heat up for a few seconds and then just slowly try to uh, work the solder in there and it'll just absorb into the wire. So uh, just a soldering tip. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry real quick. Uh, what I uh, like to now. do after I'm done, just make sure it uh, lights up. It does, so that's definitely a good sign. Go ahead and shut it back off. And I don't have a lot of room inside here, so what I normally do, I just usually wrap one wire with electric tape. Because if you put them together, it's going to short out. Nothing's going to happen. Um, but if you wrap one of them up, you will get uh, one nice and insulated from the other one. So they should not short out at all. So normally after that, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this over there. And I'll do the other one off camera. So now that I have the shrink uh, tube on here, shrink wrap tube, whichever you want to call it. Um, normally a lot of people use heat guns. That's too loud for this video. I mean, you can use flame, but you have to be careful, obviously. You don't want to melt anything. So I'm trying to get a good angle here. So just go ahead and hold the flame. Uh, might be hard to see, but um, you'll be able to see it shrinking almost immediately. And it'll be real tight. I usually hold it about a good inch, two inches away, and um, just to make sure. Shit. Yeah, it's a little warm, but that's alright. So once once again, I would like to just turn it on. Where's the sensor at? There we go. So now it works. That's great. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one real okay. quick. Okay. So um, got both ends done, and went ahead and checked it, and it works. That's great. So now you need to decide, excuse me, now you need to decide uh, what type of container are you going to put it in. Well, I've been using uh, these glass jars. I've actually had them for quite a few years. I uh, thought I'd make millions making candles, but that never happened. So um, I have all these leftover bottles. I have these and uh, a lot of these left over. And even if you just have the single solar uh, light, that would be like two or three dollars at Walmart. Uh, basically, this one here, which I haven't made a made a stand for yet, but and these little jars I uh, got from IKEA, as you can see. But these are a little more complicated. There's four wires in there, um, a lot more uh, soldering to do and stuff. So anyway. I'm going to go ahead and use this jar, and this guy is uh, quite a bit bigger than the other ones that I've been using, which let me show you. This is the one from uh, Walgreens. 
quite a bit smaller. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little more cutting. I had to cut this one out too. but So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a hacksaw and probably cut right around that line there um, and make it so it'll fit my jar here. Okay. So I very carefully went and cut around and uh, a couple reasons to be careful one. Nice and slow so it doesn't skip and you know cut your hands or anything. And this is just plastic so it breaks kind of easy. And another reason uh, you have to hang on to it nice and careful otherwise you'll start ripping out your wires and then you just have to uh, start soldering again. So this is uh, definitely safer. Uh, just take your time when you're doing it. So, okay, let me uh, clean this up real quick.